What's up, bargain family? Since I'm wearing this top, you would think that it's spring or that it is summer, but it's it's winter right now in Chicago, and it's gonna be 70 degrees in two days. I am born, raised in Chicago, and we have had some of the crappiest winters, so this winter I'm not complaining. So today I'm coming at you guys with a Target dollar spot haul. So I went to Target this morning and I purchased a bunch of items. Now, um, I try to be smart with my money, because the thing is they get you. You know, it might be a dollar here and there, but it all adds up eventually. And then you gotta tell yourself, like, do I really need this bunny hugging a duck? And sometimes you don't need the bunny hugging a duck. So I tried to be a little bit smart with my money. So I've got some spring Easter items in this bag, but I also have a little bit of the Clarence Valentine's Day section in this bag as well. Now the first item I want to show you guys, you guys are going to be like, why Bethany? And I'm going to be like, why not? I'm over here talking about being smart with my money, but then I bought this. But this, I wanted to see what was in this. So this is a hatch and grow Easter egg. And inside there is an Easter character. And I saw this and I was just like, what, what is inside of this? It looks like an eraser, but guess what? I'm going to stick this in water and I'm gonna find out what's inside of it now it says that it's gonna take 24 to 36 hours for it to hatch but I think that I might get impatient and end up like stabbing it open <laughs> but we'll see so you gotta wait 24 hours so this will really test your um, patience because like I said I ain't patient so the next item I purchased is this hello wood decor this was three dollars now they had different sayings. They had one that said Easter, one that said spring, and then one that was like a wood box that said like spring is here, but it wasn't like the words like this. It was a box and then it said it over the um, box. Now I chose this one for a specific reason. Now you guys might not know this because I don't share it. I like to purchase items like this where it could be reusable. Like if I got the Easter one, I can only use that during Easter time. Now hello, I can use it whenever. And so basically I try to buy something that I could reuse use again and just kind of spray paint over it and reuse it so like right here this love I don't know if you watch my videos but if you've seen this in the background um, not too long ago this was actually a metallic pink color I took a spray paint and I um, painted it this light pink color well that's what I do lots of times with decor that's in my room like this vase right here was actually white and then I spray painted it blue so that was my reasoning behind getting hello out of all the words that they had because this one I could use whenever and then if I want it to be a different color to go with the decor that I have then I just got to spray paint it that color that's what I really mean when I'm saying like I try to be smart with my money I try to buy something that I could basically reuse again tell me that little chicken isn't cute that's a salt and pepper shaker that I got from Dollar Tree so the next items I purchased are these two little like pencil holders or you can you know put whatever you want inside of them and I don't plan on putting pencils but they come in different colors I got the light pink and light green ones they had a light blue a light yellow a white one they're really really nice if you want some ideas for maybe makeup brush holders these are like perfect or if you have pencils you actually want to put inside of them or flowers like let me grab this right now and put the flowers inside of them I got these flowers from Dollar Tree I'm gonna put them inside of the green one I don't want to put the pink with the pink there you go it's just really pretty and you can use this whenever it just doesn't have to be during spring and the best part these were only a dollar each the next two items I got are really really like so they're just small little wood boxes and this one says remember to dream and there's a dream catcher on it and then this one I like more it's a triangle and it says dreams come true now these were only a dollar they're smaller than you know their average uh, shadow box or wood box but they're really really nice and cute I like I really like these I gotta start showing you guys my background and how I like decorate everything because I show you guys stuff that I buy but I don't really show you how I display it so I gotta start doing that Next item I purchased are these little Easter eggs that look like bunnies. They're really cute and I thought that they would be perfect for um, my decor as well. And so I just picked up one. I didn't want too many because I know once Easter is over I don't know what I would do with them. So I just bought one pack and these were a dollar as well. Then I ended up getting these bunny erasers now. I bought these to use as decor as well. If something says it's supposed to be used for one thing, you don't always have to use it for that thing. You could do you, boo. Honestly, if I was a kid though, I would not want to use these as erasers. And it looks like the clothes come off. Oh, that's so, well, it's cute until you actually take it off and then realize there's a hole inside of the bunny. So yeah, we'll put the clothes back on. I'm just gonna place them over here. See? Cute. This one's the angry one. It's like, nope, I ain't having any of this. Oh no, let's see if we can make it stand. There you go. 
Now the last item I purchased in Dollar Spot is this rabbit right here. So they have like two different rabbits. There was this one that has like the hole right here where you could put like a plant or brushes if you want to, which is what I'm going to do. And then they had another bunny that was smaller and it was just decoration. So I got this one because I was like, this one, you know, it's useful. So this is it. This one was only $3, which is an excellent price. So I'm going to end up actually putting this behind me and putting the brushes inside of there. So this says it's a candy bowl, but like I said, you don't always have to use it for what it says it's supposed to be for. And there you go. So that's all I bought at the dollar spot. I was trying not to spend too much money on stuff I didn't really need. So I know eventually I'm going to go buy some more, but I was just like, Bethany, you know, you need to you need to be smart. Okay, so then I purchased some items that were on clearance near all the Valentine's Day stuff. Right now it's 90% off. So I was able to find this, which I wish I would have been able to find more, seriously. So I bought this right here. It's a shadow box that says, this is my happy place. So this was only 30 cents now. Um, wait, it was originally $3, so I was able to get it for 30 cents. Now, I don't plan on keeping it like this. This is a little too like childish for me. Like It's really cute if you have a baby boy or a baby girl, um, but for me, it's personally just a little bit too childish. But I will end up you know, spray painting it and then making it say something else that I want in the inside. I wish I was able to find more because I love to make shadow boxes. Then I bought these felt hearts. They were originally a dollar and I bought them for only 10 cents. I bought these because they're always good to have like felt or like different shapes are always good to have if you craft a lot. Then I bought these heart blocks. It was originally $3, got it for 30 cents. Now hearts don't go out of style after Valentine's Day. So I bought these and I'm gonna end up using them in the background as well. There's four different heart colors to the block. So if you like, Move it to one side, there's a baby pink. This side is um, like a, um, what is it? A neon pink. This one is a red, and then this one is more like a true pink. I put it down there for now. Okay, so the next item I purchased is washi tape. If you don't know what that is, basically it's like a tape you use to decorate um, things. You can put it on like wood if you want to, and then later on be able to peel it off. So I bought this, it was only how much? 30 cents because it was originally $3. So I only bought one roll. I really like the pink and gold stripes right here. It gives me like inspiration. It makes me want to do like a pastel pastel pink and gold like theme um, decor as well so that's it for my target haul now that egg I know is not hatched at all yet so I'm gonna crack it open my guess is like it gets all soggy and then eventually cracks but I think I could crack it open on my own I hope I can okay let's see let me put this down and do this off camera because I'm gonna get water everywhere okay you guys I didn't even have to try I bent down, and as soon as I bent down, the entire egg like cracked. So there's a little bunny inside, and there's also like some weird stuff. So I don't think you guys really want to crack it on your own. It kind of feels like glue. It's like really gooey, honestly. It feels like goo. I didn't even have to try to like break the egg. Once I bent down and like was holding it, it cracked in my hand. I do not know if you can see this, but it's like really really slimy here's the bunny in all its glory now i'm pretty sure i saw this bunny already in a package near the eggs like you could buy the bunny alone so i'd rather buy the egg and then have it hatch the bunny so it's really cute a uh, little easter basket gift if you have a child only thing though is like there's this like weird residue on it that really feels like applesauce but it's cute. So I hope you guys enjoyed the Target haul. Hopefully you um, enjoyed watching Peter and maybe him after Peter Cottontail um, being hatched from an egg. If you liked the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed to my YouTube channel, make sure you subscribe. You'll be notified every single time that I do upload a video. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye. Yeah, yeah, you can still see me. Bye.